So let us begin this yoga nidra meditation, allowing awareness to begin with the entirety of the body, feeling the body laying fully, relaxing fully into the mat, into the floor. Knowing that now there's nothing else to do, nowhere to go, and this time is just for yourself. Just for your full practice of yoga nidra. So before we begin with the investigation of the body, I'll ask you just to repeat in your mind, I am practicing yoga nidra and I am not asleep. Bring your awareness now down to the toes. See if you can mentally be aware of all ten toes, five on each foot. Perhaps you can feel them all at once, simultaneously. And allow each of them one by one, starting from the pinky toe, moving towards the big toe to just fully relax. So starting at the outside edges of the foot, the small toe, let them relax. You may do this by mentally counting inwards as you move towards the big toe, or maybe you can feel each toe individually. Finally allowing the joints, the tendons, the little tiny pads on the ends of the toes, just letting everything fully relax, as if they become detached from the body. Bring the awareness now to the soles of the feet. The entirety of the foot from the ankle down to the toes. Perhaps you can feel the very soles of the feet themselves tingling. Maybe you can feel the air brushing against the sole of the foot. Just being aware of the entirety of the foot from the ankle to the toes. Beginning with the left foot. Just finally allowing it to relax and release. So the entirety of the left foot soft, effortless, relax. Moving to the right foot now and allowing the entirety of the right foot to meet with the left, effortlessly open and free, allowing the feet to finally surrender from their day. Allowing them the space to just finally relax with all they do for us throughout the day. Just letting them be free, as if they're not even attached to the body, just let them float, be open and free. Awareness now to the left ankle. See if you can be mindful of all of the aspects of the left ankle. And you may just ask yourself to let any tension in the ankle release. Likewise with the right, bringing the mind and the awareness of the mind down to the right ankle, allowing that space to just open, release any tension, any burden that it may be carrying. Keeping the awareness fully down just on the feet, 
so the mind focused just on the feet and just on the ankles, allowing everything to relax. Moving up now to the left leg, the left calf, up to the left knee, the bones of the lower leg on the left, the lower left calf muscle. See if you can picture this muscle in your mind's eye and allow it to just open as if it was receiving a massage. You can see the tension finally being released. Bring that awareness to the shin on the left leg. Going all the way down to the bones, the tendons and the ligaments and the ankle, down to meet the feet and the toes. Everything on the left leg from the knee to the foot relaxed, free and open. Seeing if you can seamlessly carry that awareness now over to the right leg from the knee of the right leg down to the calf muscle, the shin, the right ankle, the right foot, and again back to the toes. Letting go fully both legs from the knees down to the toes. Fully relaxed. to the thigh on the left leg, the femur, from the hip to the knee. Bring your awareness first to the big muscle of the thigh and just let it open again as if it was receiving a massage, letting it fall to the floor, opening fully, relieving any tension, strain. Anything you may be carrying from the day. And see now if you can't take your awareness into the hip joint itself at the very top of the femur coming into the pelvis. joint that carries so much and holds so much. Allow it to just finally be free and relaxed. Following down with the awareness of the left femur, bringing that into the knee itself. And then continuing from the knee all the way down to the toes of the left leg, allowing the entirety of the left leg to be fully and totally relaxed as if it's become an effortlessly light yet equally heavy weight on the floor. And bridging that awareness over to the right leg now. Starting with the thigh muscle on the right leg. Allowing this muscle to open, release. Relax and just relieve any tension in the thigh itself. Going deeper now into the femur, starting at the pelvis, the joint between the hips and the leg. Feeling again this space, the very top of the femur connecting to the pelvis. Allow your body to just create 
space in this joint itself, as if finally the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and the bone itself can just let go, just release. Bring the mental awareness now down through the femur into the knee itself. To meet with the entirety of the thigh, the entirety of the right leg, all the way down to the feet. Balancing with the effortless relaxation in the left leg. Noticing both sides from the hips to the toes, the right and the left, balanced, relaxed, simultaneously effortlessly light and incredibly heavy, just letting go fully and completely. I invite you now at this stage to repeat to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra and I am not asleep. Bringing the awareness into the pelvis itself, the hip bone. Perhaps picturing the bone and all of the tendons, the psoas muscles, the hip flexors. all the intricacies of the hip itself, knowing we store so much emotion, so much past residue in the hips, so much tension from the day. So bringing the awareness into the pelvis itself and just opening this entirety of the bones, the entirety of the joints. Perhaps envisioning even the pelvis, pelvis itself separating and becoming open, creating space, allowing energy to flow from the top of the body, the top half of the body down through the legs via the pelvis. The pelvis completely relaxed, effortlessly open. And notice how it may give just an extra millimeter of space to the femur now. And then that in turn gives an extra millimeter of space to the knee and the ankle and so on down to the toes. As a domino effect of relaxation moves from the hips down through the feet. Everything finding space and balance. Coming into the lower abdomen now. And just bringing the awareness inside, inside to the large intestine, to the descending part of the large intestine, down to the colon. Bringing the awareness to the small intestines, the bladder, the sexual organs. Perhaps picturing them in your mind's eye, or perhaps even feeling them in the body itself. Allow them the space to just release, let go. You may choose to do this by very simply telling your large intestine that it's okay to be relaxed. Or allowing the abdomen, the lower abdomen itself, to just be open and free. You may be able to envision all of the organs of the lower abdomen. And if so, I invite you to let those organs become as large as you wish, as big as you wish, and in that space, they become free. So 
So feeling that space become created in the lower abdomen. And just gradually moving up now to the very middle of the torso, into the area of the solar plexus, and into the organs that govern digestion, the stomach and the spleen, the gallbladder, the liver, the small intestine, the pancreas. As if seeing each organ itself in the mind's eye, or perhaps feeling each organ in the torso, feeling the muscles of the abdominal wall on top and moving into the awareness of the lower parts of the rib cage on the sides and the back. Just letting the middle of the torso meet at the very bottom of the torso, transitioning effortlessly into the pelvis down via the femur into the knees and eventually out from the feet. Any stress, any anxiety being held in the large intestine being washed away with energy from the solar plexus. Any discomfort in the stomach, any difficulties or worries or energies being held by the liver, or the gallbladder, any energy at all being held in any of the organs of digestion, just allowing that space and that freedom to allow that energy to drain out of the body. Draining fully and completely and allowing for rest and the organs of digestion rest with the organs of elimination, rest from the legs and the feet just allowing space and balance to return once again to the body. Bringing the awareness to the diaphragm. And now bringing that awareness equally to the breath. And see if you can't bring the awareness of the breath into awareness of the diaphragm itself. Perhaps feeling this muscle throughout the middle of the torso. And if it's difficult to feel or be aware of the diaphragm, which it very well may be, just tell your body to allow the diaphragm to relax. In many ways, the diaphragm is the doorway keeping our anxieties and fears blocked. So allowing us to relax will allow that tension to just flow out of the body via the feet. Everything in the body from the diaphragm down to the toes, relax. Keeping the awareness with the breath and coming into the heart chakra and starting with the lungs. Perhaps you can be aware now on every inhalation, all of the space, all of the area, the dimensions of the lungs themselves, feeling that cool oxygen flowing into the lungs. All of the prana being received on the in-breath coming into the lungs. All of the apana being released on the exhalation via the lungs. Letting that circular flow of energy now permeate the body, passing through the diaphragm, releasing anxiety from the lungs. Down through the torso, the legs, and eventually the feet. Perhaps you can feel the full body being connected. One circular path of energy movement throughout the body. Now 
awareness now into the very center of the heart chakra, into the heart itself. See if you can become mindful of the rhythm of your own heart. See if you can feel it beating in your chest. And take a second to marvel. And give thanks. And give space to rest to this muscle that has been beating all your life always and endlessly working to keep you alive, to circulate blood and energy through the body. Going into the heart itself, just give thanks and just ask it to relax. Just like every other muscle in the body, it will respond. And see if you can't bring the heart chakra to become in conjunction with the solar plexus, the sacral and the root traveling down the body and just let energy drain out of the feet, almost as if a shower is washing over you from the heart all the way down to the feet, washing stagnant old energy out of the body and allowing balance and space to fulfill it. I invite you now at this space to just repeat our mantra of I am practicing yoga nidra and I am not asleep. Awareness moving into each and every rib of the rib cage, the cartilage between the ribs and extend that awareness from the ribs all the way back to the spine, feeling them connect into the vertebra of the middle back. And seeing now if you can simultaneously be aware of all aspects of the spine, from the hips all the way up to the base of the skull, and the ribs, the collarbone, the shoulder blades in the back, allowing all the bones in the torso to just open, find space, and release. Releasing any tension being held between any tightness in the cartilage, any resistance in the discs, the space between each vertebra of our backs, and perhaps asking the body to release, or perhaps feeling it if you travel down the spine or over each rib with your awareness. Just let go the torso, the legs, and the feet. Bring your awareness now to your hands, your forearms, everything up to your elbows, each finger, the skin on your forearms, perhaps even the hairs on your arms themselves. Feel as if your hands and your forearms can just melt away. Feel as if each ulna and radius of the right and the left arm can just detach from the wrist and the elbow. Feel as if every single bone in the fingers, everything can just release. The elbow gaining space, opening and allowing freedom, allowing that breath to permeate through the body, permeating into the elbow, into the fingers as it moves down through the torso, the legs, and the feet simultaneously. Allowing that prana to saturate all the muscles of the body, all of the bones, the tendons, and the ligaments. Likewise into the hands, and the forearms, into the elbows. Everything relaxed.
and bring that awareness now from the shoulder blades and the collarbone down to the elbow, allowing first the space in the shoulder joint itself, allowing that space to just open. We hold so much tension in our shoulders, so much stress from the day being carried in the tightness of our upper back. This extends down through the arms, so just let space permeate let softness and relaxation come into those tense and tight muscles of the neck and the shoulders, allowing the space in the joint and the shoulder itself to open, feeling it become more relaxed. The fingers, the forearms, the biceps, to the shoulders, the collarbone, the ribs, the spine itself, all the organs of the torso, the skin, the hips, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, all the way down to the very end of the toes, all relaxed, finally letting go. Finally just letting go. Bring the awareness into the neck now from the shoulders, traveling up the shoulder blades, back to the spine and then into the neck, the muscles of the neck. Noticing how the muscles transition back into the shoulders themselves. Muscles on the chest, all the muscles of the upper torso itself feeling as if they can finally let go all the muscles in the back, the pectoral muscles, the shoulders, the muscles of the upper and lower back, tension releasing from the spine. Everything becoming relaxed, becoming effortless. Each vertebra in the spine open, free, and effortless. And taking an opportunity with the awareness on the spine being open and free to notice now that the nervous system is so still. Perhaps you can feel tingling throughout the body. Perhaps you can feel sensations on the feet and the hands, heat coolness, goosebumps. Perhaps you can see different colors, sparkles or flashes of light, knowing this is just your own chi flowing through your nervous system, flowing through the entirety of your body as it's open and released. And bringing the awareness now to the skull, starting at the very base by the neck, the very base of the skull and the spine, and moving upwards, the muscles, the lower part of the face, the lips, the tongue, the jaw, all the tension that we hold in the jaw, just let it fall and relax. The muscles in the cheeks, the eyes, letting the eyes sink into the head, the ears, the forehead, all of the skin on the face and the skull, even into the nostrils, feeling all the head, hair on the top of the head. Becoming aware of each individual hair, allowing the scalp to meet with the head and the neck, the torso, the legs and the feet, the arms to the hands, fully relaxed. And 
just feel the state now, this full body relaxation in yoga nidra. Just staying mindful of any thoughts or any situations or experiences that you may be having, but allowing it all to pass. And I invite you now to look down on yourself as you're laying in yoga nidra, to see your whole body in relaxation. And just take this opportunity to marvel at how beautiful you are, how precious you can be, how relaxed you are, how still you can become. Take this opportunity to just marvel at yourself Marvel at the light within, the love that radiates through the body. And if you feel you're lacking in any type of emotion, in any love or in compassion, then I invite you as you look down on yourself in Yoga Nidra to just pour love into the body, into the mind. Just flood yourself with love and compassion through the entirety of the body. In the state of full body awareness in yoga nidra, now I invite yourself to give thanks. Just begin a very brief dialogue with the body, perhaps thanking your organs, the different systems in your body, perhaps your skeletal system or your muscles, your nervous system, the organs of digestion or all of the vital organs themselves, or perhaps your mind or whatever you wish. Just give thanks to everything that your body does everything physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually that you're able to overcome and comprehend. Everything that passes effortlessly without even any understanding or awareness. How all the organs function without your awareness. Just give them thanks. And notice if the body doesn't respond. So I invite you now to very slowly and mindfully start coming out of yoga nidra, taking one last opportunity to just acknowledge your entire self, acknowledge your body in yoga nidra, the relaxation that you're able to accomplish. And I ask that we just give one moment of silence for thanks to conclude. So in the silence, again, thanking yourself. Thanking yourself for your presence. And to come now out of Yoga Nidra, begin by wiggling the fingers and the toes. And bringing that awareness slowly back into the body. And as you become more aware of your surroundings, more aware of yourself on the floor, on the mat, just use this opportunity for one last mental note of anything you may have experienced during this yoga nidra meditation. And then slowly and mindfully coming on out at your own pace to conclude. <laughs>